Okay, let's do this. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is what we're dealing with today, essentially. So I've been wanting to do this for a little while because as you might be able to tell even from there, my closet is just bursting. I live in a very small apartment and I have a lot of stuff and I get sent lots of stuff every week, lots of new stuff. So I really need to make some room and just kind of sort out a way to keep things a bit more organized because this stresses me out a lot and I thought I would just film the whole thing a couple of you guys actually asked me to do this and I do think it might be a fun video it's probably gonna be a whole lot of time lapse like I'm not gonna be talking through the whole thing but I think essentially what I'm gonna do is just go through it bit by bit just work my way through so just pull everything out bit by bit see what I want to keep what I want to sell what I want to donate what can be thrown out and then just put it back in but in a nicer way but i'll show you guys the state of everything i kind of don't want to get started on this because i know it's going to take a long time right now it is 12 50 pm and let's just do this i think i'm pretty good at getting rid of things nowadays i used to be really bad at it because i was just so attached to my clothing you know even with things that i hadn't worn in years i would go oh but what if i do want to wear it someday and even things that were like broken i would go what if there's like a themed party where i need this shirt with holes in it just stupid shit like that and i think i'm a lot more cutthroat now but um, yeah, the reason why I haven't been doing it is because I knew that I needed to dedicate a full day to this task and I haven't had a free day to do this in a little while. But today I do, so I really don't want to do this, but let's just do it. Okay, so I will show you guys the situation. So this is our bedroom and then this is the closet that we have. And this is basically my side. And then I also have one more cupboard down there and then the rest is Kelly's, my boyfriend's. And then I also have this little area. This is basically just beauty stuff. I don't know if I will get to this today. I will try, but the main focus is this closet. And as you can see, it's just overflowing. And I kind of, I try to keep jumpers up there. But then there's a jumper here, so I'm not sure what's happening. Um, then I obviously have my dress and everything else that I like to hang up up here. Not sure what's going on in this section. This is like underwear, socks, loungewear. And then this is all tops, or is meant to be tops, and then my bottoms are down there. But I know there's lots of bottoms in here as well. I think what I'm definitely gonna do is just pull out my laptop, put on some Gossip Girl. I usually like doing that when I'm doing any kind of housework or if I'm cleaning. I will just put on a show and it makes it so much more enjoyable. I hope you guys can hear and see me. The light might not be the nicest. We just have to deal with it. I think I'm actually gonna start with this part because i feel like it's the worst especially all the stuff down here i think i'm just gonna start by pulling all this stuff out and i'm gonna see what i want to keep and where it's meant to go that was down here and sort of had no place is done now so I've made a pile of things that I am keeping and that need to find a place this is stuff that I'm selling and then this is things that I'm donating and then I've just put rubbish and things that I want to throw out on the ground um, I think I'm just gonna continue to do everything that's hanging up here and I think I'm actually gonna try to get everything out of the closet before I put anything back in if that makes sense so at first I was gonna go like drawer by drawer and take everything out and put everything back in but I think I want to have it completely empty before I put anything else back in I feel like I'll make it easier so let's get on to this stuff <laughs> Oh, 
you. Up until now, the pile of things that I'm keeping is suspiciously big. I am getting rid of things, even if it doesn't maybe look like it. But this is honestly so satisfying to have it this empty and I'm really glad that I'm doing this. I think I'm gonna do up here next. <laughs> Okay, so this is the situation. I've pulled everything out of my closet. Um, that's Kel stuff. I've pulled everything out except for my underwear. I'm gonna do that off camera. Just realizing how much stuff I have and how much of it I never wear is kind of insane. So my camera's actually flashing, so I might change to my DSLR. But I think I'm just gonna clean out the cupboards because they're a bit dusty. And then I'm going to try to put everything back in. But basically, this pile here, all of this I'm selling. All of this here I'm donating. And then I threw some stuff out. And then this stuff over there I'm keeping. So I probably got rid of almost 40%, which I don't think is that bad. <laughs> guys it's now just past five o'clock and i've just finished my closet i'm so happy it didn't actually take me this long i took a couple breaks i did change had a meal watched some youtube but i did get it done and i'm so happy with the result i'm gonna show you guys in a second i didn't end up doing this corner here i think i'm gonna be doing this on monday so on Monday I want to do that corner, do the bed properly, but I had a look and there's not actually anything in the bed that has to go in the closet, so the closet is done. And then I also have some other stuff in the living room that I need to purge, so this was just the start of a whole purge, but for me the closet was like the most important part because it was just driving me insane. And now it's so much better. I've got one massive trash bag full with stuff that I'm donating, and then I have this one which is stuff that I'm throwing out. So this is stuff that's either, you know, like ripped or just really old, stained, like things that I don't even want to be donating. And then I have this whole pile over here that I'll 
put on the screen of things that I will be selling on my Depop. I think I did get rid of a lot of stuff. I also kept a lot of things, but you guys will see that in a second. This honestly felt so good though, and it feels so good to look at my closet now, so I would recommend this to anyone. I'm gonna show you guys the closet, how it is now. So it's kind of annoying that this is still a mess because this looks really nice, but let's just ignore this. So this is what it's looking like. That's the top going down, and then those are the drawers, and then I'll show you guys down there as well but basically yeah what I did first was take all the stuff out that I had lying in here and what I did instead is I had these black boxes still and I mean I think ideally you would want there to be nothing in that space and that would look a lot cleaner in terms of the dresses hanging down and you know to for there just to be nothing would be ideal but at the end of the day, I have limited space in this apartment and I need to use all the space that I do have. And I think this is a pretty good way of doing it and it's not too messy. So I have these black boxes. These are from Ikea, I'm pretty sure. You like fold them. And I put in three of them and I've just got most of my handbags. And I still have a couple with my shoes, but then this is the rest basically. There's one here that didn't fit in the box, but yeah, I've got three in here three in here and then three in here as well and then on this side I have tops and with this I've kind of put my favorite things in the front um, this is something I'm wearing for fashion week on Tuesday but even behind there I've got my realization dresses which I love and I just wanted to have things at the front that were like nice and aesthetically pleasing but yeah so on this side you can actually pull this out I've got like tops that I wanted to hang up silky tops like this and this little blazer top. Yeah, it's that kind of thing. Blouses, shirts, this really delicate stuff. And then this side is dresses. So this is basically most of my dresses, but I do have um, some dresses including like just really basic cotton dresses or uh, jumper dresses that I've folded because I don't feel the need to hang them. But these are all the dresses that I wanted to hang. And I have some stuff that needs to be dry cleaned like this one. But yeah, this is just dresses. But let's get into these ones. So up here, like I said, is my underwear, socks, and sleepwear. And this was really, really stuffed and just crowded. And it's looking so much better now. And I have quite a bit of lingerie as well. So I have my everyday underwear and then I have lingerie as well. And I had all of it up here. And now I've put the lingerie, which is like stockings and that kind of thing. I've put it in a separate place. Because really, this is just what I open every single day to get underwear, socks, and then at night time to get like something to sleep in. So I don't know why I had all my lingerie in here. But now I have like underwear here, all my bras and bralettes, socks, and then like sleepwear here, which is working really nicely. And you can see here already that I use this like rolling technique, kind of. You'll see it down here more. So this is all of my tops and then a couple of casual dresses as well. And I kind of... <laughs> color coordinate this one a little bit and yeah i just rolled them up and i find that so much nicer now as opposed to folding them and stacking them on top of each other which is what i used to do but if you do that you can't really see any of the items and i feel like this just makes it a lot easier to see everything and then down here i have now put all of my bottoms that aren't blue or black denim I would say so I've got my denim down there and beforehand I had all of my bottoms down there which just wasn't working and then I also have a couple of sweater dresses in here and then I have like two jumpsuits just because I didn't really have another place for them but yeah again I did the same like rolling technique and then down here is actually a place where there's quite a lot of space still this is where i've put like the lingerie in there and then in here i have really random like beanies and things that i wouldn't really wear here and don't reach for a lot at all unless i'm like going on holiday to somewhere cold which i don't do a lot and then this is all of my belts and again these boxes are from ikea and they're just the same ones as the big ones you can get them in different sizes and basically this is just space for more things which is good and i actually have a little bit of space left up here as well so in there i've got jumpers and then i have like one more jumper in there but um, the rest of that is empty. But I kind of want to get a bigger box. Like one that fits just perfectly. Because that one is a bit small for jumpers. But I've just put it there for now. But I'm going to pop this one down and show you guys. So again, this is just how I've done it. I've just rolled them up. I think I'm definitely going to be buying some new knitwear for the winter. Because I've sold most of mine. So 
I mean, this doesn't hold a lot just because they're really big. But then I think if I get another box that's quite a lot bigger than that one, I can fit another maybe four or five in there, which will be fine. And then down here, it's looking quite empty as well. So I've just got the one box down here. And this has my blue jeans, a black jean, and then two grey ones. And I've really cut down on my denim. I've given so much away because really I always end up wearing the same pairs anyways and the ones that i don't reach for i've just sorted out now and so this is actually perfect and then there's still space left next to there so again if i get new stuff i have a little bit of room to work with which is nice and that is basically everything i think it's looking so good I'm just so relieved that I finally did this and knowing that I actually have a little bit of space left is quite calming as opposed to knowing that my closet is bursting and if I buy anything else there's literally no way to put it so um, yeah I'm glad that I did this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm about to get ready for a little date night with Kel. We're gonna go have dinner and drinks and then see Endgame and I'm really excited and yeah I'm feeling so happy that I did this today. Yes, I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.